Minecraft has been around for nearly 14 years now and is the best-selling game of all time. It's become supremely popular with gamers of all ages across the globe thanks to its virtually endless replayability, huge number of mods, and ability to build just about anything you want in an expansive 3D environment. Now in April 2023, another Minecraft spin-off will be released in the form of Minecraft Legends. So maybe you're wondering what this new game is all about, or perhaps you just want to know if it's actually worth getting into. Well, to help you out, here's 5 things you need to know about Minecraft Legends before you decide whether to play it or not. Number 1. Minecraft Legends is an action strategy game with a twist. Minecraft Legends isn't like Minecraft in that you won't be able to spend your time building and experimenting at your leisure. Nope. In this game, the piglins are invading the overworld and corrupting it with the dark power of the nether. It's therefore up to you to unite the different mobs of the overworld to stop the piglins and save everyone and everything from being annihilated. While Minecraft Legends may be a real-time action strategy game, it's a little different in that you'll be at the center of everything and immersed in the game itself, observing your character from a third-person perspective. Your job will be to forge friendships, defend villages, establish your own base of operations and take down hordes of marauding piglins. Strategy, timing and resource management are key here, but the emphasis will be on intense, fast-paced combat, exploration and taking decisive actions so that you can counter the piglins and push them out of the overworld. You won't be able to do it all on your own, so your ability to work with mobs and rally them to your cause will be vital if you want to have any hope of succeeding. Number 2. A good hero needs their tools. Having a great personality is a good start, but without some powerful tools at your disposal, let's face it, you're pretty much sunk. Your first tool is your trusty sword. It's great for taking care of a couple of piglins, but not so great for larger enemies and does deadly squat to the piglin structures and portals. This is why mobs are the key to truly defeating your foes. So this is where the second tool in your arsenal, your loot, is a major game changer. By playing a certain melody, you can get your allies to collect resources, build and dismantle structures for you, and so on. As you progress, you'll be able to unlock new songs and store them in your songbook so that you can use them whenever you want. Next is the Banner of Courage, which is what you'll use to lead your troops into battle against your enemies. The Banner of Courage also lets you access Banner View, allowing you to control your units individually if you want. Finally, there's the Flames of Creation, which you'll find in a cage attached to your mount. The flames allow you to summon allies to fight at your side, and once you repel the first piglin attack on any of the three mob homesteads, a Flame of Creation will also be lit there, meaning you'll be able to build their spawners. Mastering these tools will play an essential role in allowing you to succeed in your offensives against the piglins and gain the upper hand in combat situations. Although these tools may be powerful, without a skilled hand to harness them, they're all but useless. Number 3. Yesterday's enemies are today's allies. It won't just be cobblestone, plank, mossy and grindstone golems that will help you out in your fight against the piglins. Believe it or not, many of the mobs you once called enemies will now be critical allies in your war against the piglins. The first of these is none other than the creepers who will help by blowing up the walls and structures built by the piglins. Creepers are found in the warmer regions of the overworld, so if you hear hissing, make sure you look for the source so you can recruit these creatures to your cause. The next mob is the Skeletons, who you'll find in the overworld's colder recesses. They're great at firing arrows at the piglins and doing damage from afar, but as ranged units, they're not very sturdy when it comes to taking damage. I mean, they are just bones after all. Last but not least are the Zombies, who can take a lot of damage and direct the piglins' heavier units away from their allies. They obviously aren't invulnerable, so make sure you have some golems on hand to give them the support they so rightly deserve. Harnessing the abilities of all your different units, be they golems or otherwise, is yet another integral part of overcoming the piglins and triumphing in battle. Teamwork really makes the dream work in Minecraft Legends, so make sure you use everything at your disposal if you want to make things a lot easier for yourself. Number 4. Different Game Modes So besides the main campaign in Minecraft Legends, which you'll be able to co-op by the way, there's also a multiplayer PvP mode. PvP games consist of a blue and an orange team, with each team having 4 players each. Naturally, the main objective will be to build your base, or bases of operations, and work together to defeat the opposing team. You can delegate tasks however you like and even share units in order to improve your chances of succeeding. One player could focus on building a fortress and defending structures while another gathers resources and another attacks the enemy base and so on. Also be mindful of the piglins who will be hanging around and want nothing more than to ruin your day with their dastardly schemes. And if you're worried for some reason, you'll be pleased to know that there is an online matchmaking system and that there will be cross-platform support meaning empty lobbies and nobody to play with shouldn't be an issue. On top of this, every map will be randomly generated, so there's literally zero chance of ever having the exact same experience twice. 
While I do think the single player campaign will be great for players, I have a feeling the online games could make for some very entertaining experiences. Minecraft Legends contains all the charm of Mojang's original game but also has the fast pace and immersion of modern action games, and with its family friendly design, PvP matches should have plenty of people all over battling it out over the internet for many hours at a time. And finally, number 5, Navigating the Overworld. So the world of Minecraft still largely resembles what fans have come to love about the game, but it's a little different in Minecraft Legends. Building here will take mere seconds instead of minutes or hours, and you won't be changing the landscape for the most part. Now, there are a few structures and areas you should be aware of before you start exploring the overworld, the first of which is the Well of Fate. This is where you first enter the world and the place you'll go if you want to upgrade your abilities, unlock new units and make improvements all around really. You'll also be able to fast travel to it any time you like. Next there are villages which you will need to defend against the piglins. Village fountains are particularly important as these will allow you to fast travel to villages you've already discovered. Whenever you have to stop piglins in a village, make sure you protect the fountain at all costs. Protecting villages as a whole is also crucial as the villagers will give you access to resources to help you in your quest. So if the piglins take over a settlement, you'll lose access to these resources and that's not good at all. Speaking of resources, you'll need to keep an eye out for ore veins so that you don't run out of them. Your LA friends will take care of the mining, but you still need to make sure you're overseeing your resources and managing them carefully. Beyond this, exploring the overworld will require you to use certain boosts to overcome various obstacles in your path, and there are also LA chests strewn across the map that all contain different random amounts of resources. As with any game, exploration is super important in Minecraft Legends, so keep your eyes and ears peeled at all times. Overall, Minecraft Legends looks like a very promising offering and a new approach to the Minecraft experience that I think will go down very well with fans of the franchise. Minecraft Legends will release on April 18th, 2023 and be available on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch and PC. And there you have it, that's 5 things you need to know about Minecraft Legends before it releases. What did you think of this list? And is there anything else you think gamers need to know about Minecraft Legends? Let me know in the comments below. As always, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that I can keep delivering hot gaming, VR and tech content to you on a regular basis. That's it for today. From me and the villagers here at Metasquad, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later!